how to use the VLOOKUP function in Google Sheets to solve a real problem in a practical way. So let's say I want to calculate the gross profit and the gross profit is based on the price minus the cost. And here I have a problem because there is no cost in this column. Everything here is blank. And for each one of the items that I have, they're going to have a different cost. And I can check the cost just here in the cost sheet. So let's say if I want to have the vitamin C cost, I can take a look here in this table and take as reference the vitamin C cost. Simple as that. And the VLOOKUP function can help me with this situation. Instead of manually, I find here each one of the costs and then type in, in the list that I'm, where I need to fill in the results. The VLOOKUP function can automate this task. So it basically can bring it back any result based on a criteria, a correspondent value based on a criteria. Let's go back here to the sales report and let's start with the equal sign and then VLOOKUP. Double click here to select or just click once, okay? And then the first argument that the VLOOKUP fun function is asking us is the cert key. The cert key is going to be my first item. I can either click over the cell or if you want to do it manually, you can open quotations mark and then type in the name of the item and then close quotations, okay? Simple as that. But I'm going to do it in a dynamic way. Just click over the cell and then Joma. Now, the second thing that I want to input here is the range, the range. And my range is here in the cost. And here I want to, I need to select as the first column, as the first range, the range that I, where I have my criteria, that is the product, and drag to the right to select the base, everything that I'm going to use. I know that I don't need to use the brand name and neither the location, but as my first range, my criteria is the product. And I also need to bring it back as a result of the cost. I need to select basically everything. So start in the first column and move all the way to the right to the last column that I need to use. Okay, simple as that. And something very important here, because we're going to need to do the VLOOKUP function for all the rows that we have. Basically, I'm going to need to click, hold, and drag down the function to make sure all the rows contain the same function. But we're going to have a problem doing that because when we click, hold, and drag down a function, all the ranges, all the references are also going to be moved out. So we need to fix, lock the reference. If you want to have this reference right here in the same position ever, independently on the, the row that are your VLOOKUP function is at, you need to lock the reference using the F4 key. And this is what you're going to do here. So we're going to press the F4 key to basically input here the dollar sign before the letter and also before the number. That way I make sure I lock the reference. Now, comma. Now the argument that I need to input here is the index. Index. Okay. So index. The index is basically the number of the column that you want to bring back as a result. My first column that I selected is the product. The second one is the brand name. The location is the third and the cost is the fourth. Which number I need to input now in order to bring back as a result the cost? The number four, right? Because the cost is the fourth column. So, or, and then, comma. This is the last argument. As I want to bring it back as a result, exactly the same thing that I'm looking for, or I mean, I want to have an exact match. So, if I want to look for vitamin C, I want to bring it back as a result, the cost, the match with this criteria. Therefore, I need to type here, false, okay? False, like this. Close parentheses and then enter. Simple as that, the VLOOKUP function is done. If I double click in the down right corner of the cell, one, two, I make sure now all the rows contain the same function. And I can take, let's say, green tea and check if this value is correct, 62 and 60 cents. Let's come back here to the costs and let's find here the green tea here. Green tea, 62 and 60 cents. Yeah, it's perfectly correct. So this is how we can use the VLOOKUP function here in Google Sheets to solve a real problem in a practical way. I hope this video can help you out. And uh, if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below, and I see you tomorrow. As ever, there has a new video. I see you there.